Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we are going to look at John Byrne's Marvel Fanfare number 29. Okay, so in the 80s, Marvel Fanfare was this great anthology book that Marvel put out featuring, um, you know, this is like high-end paper and better quality compared to what else was going on with the newsprint and the, you know, this is $1.50, I think, regular comics were probably around 60 cents, 75 cents, depending on when this one came out and when the first one came out. But anyway, so this is, uh, Marvel Fanfare is a great place to put top and talent with different sort of offbeat stories that might not necessarily fit into the continuity of their own books. And John Byrne did everything on this. I, this is around the same time as his run on Hulk, I believe. And this may or may not have been meant to be included in his Hulk run. And I think legend may or may not have it that, uh, the idea was next, so they just used it here at, in this format. And I'm so glad they got, did because, you know, we got better paper and better production quality. And it's all panels. It's all splash pages, which is so cool. John Byrne is doing the uh, writing and the penciling and the inking. And people are like sort of 50-50 on his inking, but I think it's pretty undeniable how tight and sleek his inks look here. They just look great. I love all his cross hatching, uh, such a signature of John Byrne's artwork. Uh, Mindless Hulk is just in the desert and he meets up with this, I guess, Native American character who's ready to beat the crap out of because, you know, Hulk smash everything, right? And then he casts a spell on him or whatever, calms him down, sits him down. Look at all this beautiful Byrne art. Just all the, I don't know, I just love to look at everything. I love the way John Byrne draws stones and rubble and smoke and clouds and the Hulk. I mean, how fun was his run on the Hulk? Too bad it was only like six issues, but I guess we got a bonus one with this here. So now what, he's lighting a, his peace pipe and getting the Hulk stoned or something. This is like another classic burn thing. And this is something uh, George Perez would do as well. So I wonder, I feel like it may have come from like Steve Ditko, but feel free to weigh in on the comments and uh, tell me if I'm right or wrong or what you think. But um, this is so, he just draws the best faces. You know how Marvel always had those like corner boxes in the 70s and 80s with the cast of characters. Burns were always by far the best and the most iconic and probably the ones you'd remember. Oh, we got Sasquatch here and Sabra, the uh, Israeli superhero. And then we have, what's her name? I love her. <laughs> Modoc. I mean, how fun is this? That's such I love about Marvel Comics is you can always count on a guest appearance from characters from another book, whether it's a hallucinogenic smoke cloud or an actual full on battle. Here comes these baddies. Speaking of battles, they're sneaking up on him and brutally choking him. A hammer and anvil. I don't recall these two, but I don't know if these this is their first appearance. They said they're back in town, so I'm assuming they've been here. I'm not, like, familiar with old, old-school Hulk, and it seems like Byrne would definitely, like, dip into that his history, um, but I don't know. Anyway, just great splash pages here. I could imagine how awesome it would be to own this original art, and um, the Indian was just... Indian, Native American, whatever, guy in disguise, um, was wearing like a rubber mask, so friend, and what a great shot of the Hulk there. So that's fun, that's Marvel Fanfare by John Byrne. Uh, there's a little backup story, Captain America, uh, Norm Brayfogle, the late, great Norm Brayfogle, who is considered like, um, a lot of people's favorite Batman artist, um, so it's kind of fun to see him drawing Captain America here. And that's kind of the flavor, you know, Marvel Fanfare would bring you, like, different creators who are not necessarily associated with certain characters and things like that. Great book. If you ever see these, they're not super expensive. So look through your back issue bins. And I hope you enjoyed that great look at Marvel Fanfare 29 by John Byrne, all pinup issues starring the Hulk. And... It, Please hit like and subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content later. Thanks guys.